save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword. Welcome back to another adventure in Hyrule. Today we're going to be looking for shrines because I want to get one more spirit orb. One more spirit orb and I'll have eight spirit orbs and then I can get fully maxed out stamina. Now I was looking at my adventure log and I saw a landscape of a stable this is a shrine quest where he wants me to look at the picture inside this stable and try to find this so that's what I'm looking at right there so what I'm gonna do is actually take a screenshot but honestly I'm pretty sure it's somewhere down here so I'm just gonna throw a pin just judging by where it is and whatnot because of where Death Mountain is and whatever. But, you know, I might take a uh, scenic route to get there. We don't have to go directly there. Oh, there's an ice po over there. Um, hold on. There was somewhere I wanted to explore. Now I don't see where it is. I think it was behind here. Before I started recording, I was kind of looking around, scouting the area, just seeing what's up with this stable. And I saw somewhere. Maybe it was over here. No. Huh, no, I'm not seeing it. Ah, yes, it was back here. There's like a little cave system back here. I wanna, I wanna explore it. Okay, are you kidding me? Cookie can't come? Why not? Well, if Cookie can't come, then we're gonna have to take out another Ooh. horse. Let's go, Epona. Cookie is being way too difficult. I know I can count on Epona. Yeah, see a little cave over here? I wanted to explore this. Let's see what's over here. Maybe we'll find a shrine. And if not, we just go get that other shrine. Oh yeah, shrine sensor. Yeah, Pona, I wouldn't run into the fiery explosions. That's probably not a good idea. Hey, you know, it works. Not the cleanest kill, but we got the job done. Now where is the shrine? My shrine sensor is beeping. Ah, it's this way. Alright, Epona, you're on your own. I'm gonna go look for this shrine. It's somewhere over here. Hello, little bird. Oh my goodness. That was mean. You're gonna die for that. Huh. Do you guys see a shrine anywhere? Because I sure don't. But... 
Let's keep following the sensor. It must be this way. We're getting pretty close to Death Mountain again here, boys. Oh wait, now the shrine sensor is not going. I have a feeling the shrine must be below us. Ah, it is. We found another shrine, guys. The Sa Dahaj Shrine. Wouldn't that be crazy if this is actually the shrine for the landscape of a stable? I think if it was, we would have it complete, so I don't think it is. So we'll do this shrine, and then we'll go find the shrine for the landscape on the stable. Either way, I just want eight spirit orbs, then we can get the stamina. Then, ooh, power of fire, this one looks so fun. All right. Let's like kick this thing over there. All right, too far. All right, this this is not working out. Maybe, maybe if I just smack it over here. Hey, there we go. Cool, cool. Oh, hi. I've been waiting to use this. You know what? We're going full ancient armor, baby. Ancient proficiency. Oh, wait, I don't have the set bonus? Oh my goodness, we need to go upgrade this armor. You have a lot of health, man. Thank you. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Gotta take a sip of my tea. So far, pretty much the same puzzle twice in a row, but still kind of cool. Checking all angles for secrets and or chests. Seeing as I don't really remember this shrine at all. Oh, a bunch of stuff just happened. Let's get the chest first. A royal bow durability plus. Unfortunately, that's not a very good bow by our standards. However, since I'm trying to get every single uh, chest in every single shrine, we're just gonna go ahead and drop the Falco bow. We'll pick up a royal bow, why not? Was it, huh? All right. Wait a minute. What's there something else over here? Just my arrow, I guess. Kind of a cool ceiling with all the uh, all those things hanging up there. Huh? Well, we got the spirit orb. Doesn't the spear on my back look like like a little scepter that's missing its crystal? That's something that is missing in this game is staffs. Like why is there not magic staffs like with a uh, or just staffs in general staves like for fighting? You got swords. There's also no daggers. Daggers and staves. 
fist weapons. Anything like that would be cool, Breath of the Wild 2. Oh, that's a cool looking pose on that monk. All right, we got eight spirit orbs. Hmm. That is epic. And uh, you know what? I feel like we should go clear out that enemy camp up there because they did not look very friendly to us at all. So let's see. Let's use our attack armor. Attack boots. And uh, cap of time. Cool, cool. If we're really quiet, we could probably sneak up on these guys, but it sounds like they already know we're here. <laughs> you saw nothing. How dare you? Okay, this is backfiring like major, so let's uh, let's do this. I really do hate that spin attack. Alright, you know what? There we go. I was trying to knock him off the, uh... Oh, big boy! There we go. We're going straight to the top, baby. I want that chest. Well, since we're getting another Royal Claymore, we might as well use this one up, right? Give me that loot. is kind of ugly if I'm being honest like what kind of spear would look like this it's not even a spear it's like a big plate on a stick with some cuts in it like people took bites out of a big steel plate okay the cobble crusher is pretty cool oh hi did you want something sir I saved this weapon for golden boys. You're lucky. Are you kidding? Gosh dang it, he's so fast. Hold still. Ah. 
Don't try blocking this. Ain't no blocking that. Ain't no blocking that. Alright, so actually, you know what? Instead of the cobble crusher, let's just go get that royal claymore out of the chest. It's a little bit better. Really, Master Sword can't even break that? Okay. Let's go get the Korok seed over here. Which I'm assuming... The Korok seed is literally probably way up top. Fireproof lizard! I bet the rock is up here. No? Well, we did find an epic view at least. Are you kidding me? Oh, my aim is so bad. Yeah, I don't see the rock. Maybe it's literally up the mountain completely. <laughs> Come on, Link. We gotta find it. Gotta be right up here. Never mind, I have no idea where it is or where we are going, but this is a beautiful screenshot. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Beautiful sunrise in Hyrule, guys. Let's go even higher. They would not put the rock this far away, but even so. We're going higher and higher, baby. Alright, so let's go explore down over here towards the red pin. Not like that. doing it fast enough, not nearly fast enough. Uh, that was a little bit better, but... Link, you are taking a beating, sir. I am sorry for that. Okay, and Impona is useless, because she can't be summoned unless she's close. Oh well. I'll walk. There is a new... Well, I shouldn't say new, but it's new for me. And new for the series. A new technique that I want to show you guys. Oh wow, look at it. Little magma dudes. Not every day we run into some magma dudes. 
This one's supposed to go over here. Oh, I'm good. Dang, we got 41 Koroks. That's not bad. There's another one right there. Oh, it's on the way. Let's go get him. What is that? Oh, it's just a bird nest. Alright, we're good. Maw of Death Mountain. Ooh, that sounds so cool. Got him. Picking up a shine, guys. It's probably the one that I think it is. Let's go up. Up some more. Up some more. Let's put on some climbing gear since we're climbing a lot. You know what? They really missed an opportunity with the climbing set bonus. It really should have been can climb uninterrupted by rain. Instead, it's just you can like jump without using as much stamina. Which, that's fine and all, but the climbing set already like, you, you climb so efficiently with th level 3 climbing. You don't really need the, the stamina boost, but I would way rather have something that allows me to climb easily in the rain. I would rather have that. There it is! Another shrine just nestled nestled here. Two mole shrine. Ta mole shrine. I get two. I thought it was T-U-H-S-T. Hey, we did it! See, I knew it was somewhere around here. The shrine sensor kind of makes that quests like insanely easy just because you don't even have to really look for the vantage point you just have to know like kind of the area that it is and then just use the shrine sensor that's literally it another fire shrine what is it with the fire shrines in this area not that i really care i mean i, I do like fire shrines oh Which one of you leaf piles is actually useful? thing with these fire shrines and the leaves oh that's all right stone smasher 
is it's really obvious, like, everything you have to do. Let's see how long throw this really goes. Yeah. And not that long. Yeah. I'd much rather have the stone smasher anyways. Thank you. I didn't want another weapon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Where's the key? Oh, how tricksy. Do you think I can just launch over there, guys? With no key? I think I can. Maybe not. One more try. One more try. Just, just, just because. And that's what I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, look, we're up here. So I'm guessing the key is like you got to burn one of these other thingies, but yeah, I don't know. I do not know where the key is. Is it in there? Or is it this one? We will burn everything. Huh. Wait a minute. How am I gonna get out of here? No. That shrine was easy. <laughs> We're taking the Zumway to a whole new level on this one. You'll know what I mean if you've watched uh, Zumwar's playthrough of Breath of the Wild. All right, so we got the ninth spirit orb. Now I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pay a visit to the gem lady in Goron City. And while we're there, we'll get our level We'll get our third stamina wheel complete. And we'll sell some gems. And I'm going to take a sip of tea. After we go get these ore. <laughs> I can't just see ore right in front of me and not go grab some. Could be a diamond in here. Oh yeah, give me a diamond. Oh, that's still pretty good. What happened to the music, man? Music just died. All right, uh, let's equip some fireproof armor and yeah, good enough. And then let's head to Goron City. Yeah, let's 
check out the gem lady. Just dropping in to say hello. Rubies! You're in luck! I will sell you 10 rubies. Uh. 10 sapphires! You're in luck! Here's 10 more! Here's 10 more! I should have sold more rubies, I didn't even think of it. Here's 10 more! No way I have more than that. Oh my gosh! We had a lot of sapphires, guys. Well. Did I have more rubies? Oh, I could have sold twice more to her on the rubies. Oh well. We still got topaz. Opal seeds, diamonds, sapphire, wow, yeah, so we got 23,000 gems and really nothing to spend it on, so Alright, now, where's the uh, little prayer statue? There it is. Come on, get, 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 there we go. Yep, thank you. Stamina hype! Completing our co stamina wheel is actually kind of like a rite of passage. Master mode, full stamina. First time in my life. Oh, one more, guys! Now that I have full stamina, I am going to do the sword trials. That's what I was really wanting to do because I know we're gonna need the stamina more than we're gonna need the hearts. Full stamina, three full wheels. I overflow with vigor. Yeah! We did it! 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 Hey, Barsco or Bobgo, what's your name? Bluto. Hey, Bluto. How's it feel to have literally no stamina and I have so much stamina? All right, guys, let's make the Boulder Breaker again. Hold on. First, I need to cobble crusher. And let's go make another boulder break here. Hold on. It costs a diamond, but I don't really care. We got plenty of money. The bold breaker. Mm. Worth. How are you gonna go mine diamonds and not have a boulder breaker? You know what I mean? We gotta have Daruk's weapon. Dang, we got some heavy hitters, guys. We got some heavy hitting weapons. Alright, before we end this episode, we are gonna try one more time for Vonaboris Helmet. Using Champion Urbosa's Amiibo. This is the sixth day, I'm pretty sure. Somebody said, actually, let's just let these cook. Somebody said it was the fourth day, so this is the fifth. I guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's the sixth, though. Oh, man, we got it. Maybe it was the fifth. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Vonda Boris Divine Helm, a treasure gifted to the one who controls Divine Beast Vonda Boris. It endows its user with enhanced abilities, shock resistance, and also probably I can see uh, the health of enemies. Awesome! Only one Divine Beast Helmet left, and I'm not going to do it until we actually beat Varuta. So if you guys want to see what this looks like with the ancient set equipped, which is pretty much what you want. Okay, I'm dying, but there you go. It's camel head. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm dying. <laughs> Let's do a Varudanya flame helm. Not, I'm flame resistant now. There we go. 
This one's a little bit better for the Goron City. Actually, yeah, maybe the shield looks better. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take it easy.